Seattle fans yelled loud and hard when their team was moved to Oklahoma City in 2008. Bring back our Seattle Supersonics. A few diehard fans produced an award-winning documentary, their story of how the team was stolen. We like to say that Sonic Skate is not just a movie, it's a movement. We are you know, determined to get a team back here and in the relatively uh, near future. Seattle was home to the Sonics for 41 years and one NBA championship. But Key Arena was the smallest in the league and lacked amenities that help a team make the big bucks to pay the big salaries. There were several attempts to renovate Key or build a brand new arena, but they all involved public money and none of them ever got off the ground. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz finally sold the team to Oklahoma businessman Clay Bennett, but with assurances that the team would stay. And we would not have sold it to a team, to a new owner, who we felt was going to take the team away. But just a year later, with Seattle no closer to building a new arena, Clay Bennett got permission from the NBA to move. The transition and the move of this, of this operation and this team begins tomorrow morning from Seattle to Oklahoma City. This is brutal for me, you know, I mean, seeing, seeing this, this happen to the Kings. Dave Grosby was part of the original Sacramento Kings broadcast team. Beyond belief. He's now a popular sports radio host in Seattle. Gros doesn't see a team coming back to Seattle anytime soon. There's only way it's possibility is if there's a new building here and there's no, no impetus going on to build one, so. Uh, the NBA is dead in Seattle. The Seattle Mariners play baseball on that new field. And right over here, the Seahawks play their football games in a brand new stadium, both of them built with some public money. But when it came time to pony up taxpayer dollars for a new home for the Sonics, voters were suffering arena fatigue. The economy was starting to tank and they just said, that's, that's it, we're not gonna do it anymore. But now, few years after the teams left, people realize what's missing. We have long, dark, rainy winters here. The fans who made Sonicsgate hope that their documentary will help to build support for bringing a team back to Seattle. By making the movie and showing the way things were handled here, that it did move us to the top of the list to get an NBA team back, but we're at the bottom of the list until we get an arena done. Same as you guys, if you guys lose the Kings down there, the NBA will never come back to your city unless you have a new arena.